As the old saying goes, the more popular something becomes with the smooth brain masses, the worse the product or service tends to get. Search engines and the companies developing them are no exception. For example, I'm sure you are aware that the largest search engine is currently Google, and depending on your point of view, is amongst the worst. The search results Google gives to its users, depending on the topic, can and have been proven to often be manipulated to further the agenda of whatever multinational corporation seems to be paying them the most. <coughs> Facebook. So, I'm not so sure about you, but I personally would like to at least be given the correct facts whenever I'm researching a particular sensitive or divisive subject without the fear of only being told one side or being straight up lied to. Now, of course, Google is not the only search engine, and also isn't the only one guilty of this practice. However, it's the easiest example to give, and I'm sure everyone can relate. All you have to do to prove this is research a controversial subject in Google, and compare the search results to say, DuckDuckGo, and how Google only really recommends you on the top first page, one-sided point of views, whereas DuckDuckGo would give you a more diversive range. Now, now, I know there are multiple factors for varying search results between different search engines, such as search engine optimization and browser cookies, just to name a few, but you never know. So, to mitigate this, you should always make sure to either utilize multiple search engines for your queries, or become a proud user of a more elegant and based search engine. Let's go over some examples of these. Now, I think the first base search engine that might come into your mind may be, of course, DuckDuckGo. The DuckDuckGo search engine seems to have made itself the default privacy respecting no buyer search engine of the world, becoming the default search engine for privacy centric versions of Firefox that come pre installed with some Linux distributions, as well as with people wanting to begin to take their privacy seriously. Now, according to DuckDuckGo themselves, they use a bot named the DuckDuckBot to scrape over 400 sources of information from other sources that match your internet query, with none of these 400 sources being from Google themselves, but, as they put it, most often from Bing. So does DuckDuckGo dislike Google? Seemingly so, and in the past DuckDuckGo have come out in time and time again criticising Google search on their methods of tracking users in order to designate personalised search results for them, allowing Google themselves to choose what the end user sees, and ultimately, if we get out our tinfoil hats for a moment, what the user thinks, and to a point, influence them on what their opinions are, and what they might say. Much like to how Facebook has been exposed of doing time and time again. But I'll have to talk about that another time. DuckDuckGo has an inherent advantage when it comes to supplying its users with a privacy-respecting search engine. For one, it's notoriety with the general public. If anyone is even slightly tech-savvy, they have likely used or have at least heard of the DuckDuckGo search engine, making it the most popular privacy-centred one out of the lot. Now, that's not to say it is the best or without its problems. To name an example, in January of 2019, DuckDuckGo was accused of utilising browser fingerprinting in order to uniquely identify the user's browser sessions and to then, I assume, sell the data to advertisers to enable them to conduct targeted advertising, a much more lucrative endeavour. However, from what I was able to dig up, DuckDuckGo made a statement on the matter, strongly denying the allegations, and it was left at that. But it does make you wonder what really does go on behind the scenes, and what the general public are not privy to. Talking of DuckDuckGo, and what goes on behind the scenes, the privacy and security DuckDuckGo claim to offer are just that. You have to remember, this is a search engine and not a browser. Even if they are 100% focused on providing their users with absolute privacy and security, they are, after all, a company based in the United States, and thus have to abide by the United States privacy and regulation laws. DuckDuckGo themselves have acknowledged this in the past, and have publicly stated that they will abide by any demands given to them by the Glowboys. So, it's best to keep that in mind when you expect what they promise. Still, using DuckDuckGo is a lot better than using Google or Bing directly. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No one uses Bing anyway. But Mr. Orange Blue Mohawk Man, 
How can I search the web while also keeping my data firmly by my side? No need to fear, my son. Quell your panic, as I have a plausible answer for you. Introducing Sir X. Sir X is a quote meta search engine, which means that Sir X takes your internet query and runs it through multiple other search engines like Bing or Yandex to then compile these search results and present them to you directly rather than through a tracked link, like what Google does. Sir X also makes sure to never share the user's browser cookies with the search engines it is utilizing in its searches, as well as blocking cookies that those search engines may try to slap you with. Sir X has quite the extensive list of search engines it utilizes, such as Reddit, Bing, Google, and Yandex, just to name a select few, out of the 82 total. You also have the ability to either run or use a private instance of Sir X, allowing you to bypass public instances, which could get congested if there is enough traffic. Using your own or a trusted instance of Sir X also adds to your personal security and privacy, as you are not trusting any third party to be trying to get up to any funny business with your data. Now, with all of that, you do also get the option to use either of these two search engines, being Sir X and DuckDuckGo, through a V3 Onion address on the Tor network. Accessing these search engines through Tor will undoubtedly increase your privacy, security, as well as your anonymity, as you would not only be utilizing a based privacy respecting search engine, but also the Tor browser. Good stuff, though if you're going to be utilizing Tor for visiting websites, it's best to stick to an Onion specific search engine such as Tor or Phobos and to only visit dot onion link websites through tor as to access clearnet sites through the tor browser will mean you would have to go through an exit node which could compromise your anonymity so out of these two search engines sir x is absolutely superior to DuckDuckGo. however the latter seems to be popular with the beginner and no fuss users whereas sir x is more for the intermediate and privacy serious individuals who really do take their privacy seriously then course, you have the people who don't use search engines and purely find links directly to the site they want to visit, which would be a more secure way of doing things, but a pretty big pain in the ass. So that's just a quick overview of the two most base search engines in my humble opinion. There are other privacy respecting search engines that I haven't covered in this video. If anyone wants me to cover them, I'll be sure to make a more extensive and in-depth video in the future. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this entertaining and useful, please like the video if you did, and maybe even subscribe if you like stuff like this and Linux in general. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Stay safe.